hey welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to pan the arm like the ekiti people without further ado let's get started happy easter to everyone happy easter sunday and today's video back to today's video i'll be showing you how to pound yam just like the ekiti people yes yes i am also half ekiti and you know half another state but yeah my mom is ekiti and we pound yam if you are from AKT pounded yam is like their regular food and this is just how it goes get your yam you slice it cut it making sure you have water by the side because of course you don't want your yam to you know discolorate so you need to like always have like water beside you cut the yam wash your yam and then put it to your pot and be ready to start the boiling process and you don't have to cut the yam into smaller chunks because yes we are going to be pounding it you will see the mortar and paste too. this is a pounded yam tutorial a real pounded 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 yam and this is what we have you know putting your water i put it on the fire you don't need to put salt it's pounded yam we don't need to put salt we are not eating the yam we are pounding the yam so there is no need for salt now we get our pistol ready and our mortar ready and then you just start by training the yam little by little into the mortar and then using your pistol to just match it or will i say match it or pound it yes that is the word pound it and it's kind of fast paced right now but you see where you know you hear the sound but yeah you just keep pounding it you don't put all the yam in at once you want to do it step by step and yes this thing requires energy which my mother loves so you know kudos to her <laughs> ekiti people you can't take the yam out of ekiti pearl you can't take it whatever age they have they're still gonna pound their yam anyways this is what we have here and enjoy this we would also love to like get a water beside you where you can use to dip your pistol into it just so that it can help with pound the pounding process to be easier also like i said you don't go in and pound all the old yam at once so after you've pounded a little bit of the yam you take it out of the pistol and then you put in a new set of yam with the yam that was taken out it's not fully pounded but it's just to match it a little bit and then to get the other one thrown into the into the mortar just so that it doesn't get cold and all of that and they can all have the same temperature and that's how you just go about it also watching this process you want to be careful please if you don't know how to pound i don't think you should just go and get pistol and tell someone to pull and because you really need to be an expert in pounding so you don't enjoy yourself or injure another person you see the person pounding right in this video she is an expert she's been pounding since a very tender age <laughs> <laughs> let me put it that way yes like it's just an ekiti thing even me i'm speaking my mom started teaching me how to pan since i think age 11 or thereabout because she tells us that she started learning when she was six i don't know how true that can be but yes as an ekiti person they actually start teaching you how to pan very little so like when you're actually like a child if i could put it that way so it's like it's in your blood it's in their blood this is what they actually eat every day like they don't really eat rice they really eat pounded yam as their daily 
meal so this is not a big deal it's for people like me that we complain of pounding and of course that's my sis behind her and you know of course my mother is gonna inaugurate you into the pounding process <laughs> if i could say that it's really just so funny but this is how they actually also teach like younger ones how to be able to pound yes i went through the same process but i'm so lazy to think of pounding And now you can see that the pounding is getting more serious. Yes, it gets the time that the pounding gets more serious. And guys, I will just leave you to actually watch and figure and see how things are being done. But yes, if you're an Ekiti person, please say hello in the comment section and rep your people from Ekiti. And if you're not even from Ekiti but you like pounded yam or you eat pounded yam, let me know that soup you actually love and enjoy having your pounded yam with. Is it a goosey is it okra is it vegetable is it your but no what soup is that soup that you enjoy eating your pounded yam with let me know also in the comment section and let's get stuck in over there for me i actually love a goosey and then this particular pounded yam was eaten with some very sweet if you're a kitty you know the soup it's called ishakpa I don't know the English name for it, frankly speaking, and it's mostly known by Ekiti people. Like no other Yoruba people, we actually really know what Ishakpa is. But Ekiti people just say Ishakpa, they understand. And it's some I don't know how it's why it's only particular to Ekiti people, but it's a kind of I'll call it like a vegetable. I don't know how it's see the whole process of ishakpa is only known to kitty people and yes i know about ishakpa and i love ishakpa egusi soup and yes that was what i had with this pounded yam guys oh oh my god it was amazing and guys also my bad let me ask you also is it true that you know you don't put pounded yam in cooler apparently my mom says pounded yam should not be kept in cooler let me know if that's what it is at your area if that's what it's in your area let me know in the comment section so normally when we make pounded yam we just put them in like a wrapper we have like layers of wrapper and put the pounded yam and cover wrap them with the wrapper so that it doesn't get um, cold but yeah she says if it's in a cooler it's gonna spoil let me know in the comment section i've also never like tried any other route <laughs> And yes guys this is just going in and she keeps doing batch by batch and it's ready our pounded yam is ready yeah guys that pounded yam i finished and this was what i had left but of course i served myself to some delicious pounded yam and ishakpa soup yes my kitty people say hello <laughs> guys thank you for watching that's the end of this video if you found it helpful let me know happy 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 easter to you guys out there i hope you had an amazing day a fantastic fabulous day and i hope you're enjoying the holidays thank you for watching if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel like the video and share and i'll see you in my next video bye